let's talk about how you can find top keywords that your competitors are not running sponsored ads for and how this strategy can make you money. Of course, you want to rank for your main keywords. You will need to run ads for those no matter what. But sometimes you might want to look for keywords that have a little less competition or at the keywords that maybe your main competitors are not running sponsored ads for. You could view these as opportunity keywords where you could generate some revenue. So how do you find that out? Well, when you are in a multi-ASIN search inside of Cerebro and you have the results, sometimes you can go in and put a minimum search volume of 300. And that's what I'm going to do right here. From here, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. One way is finding out which phrases not many of your competitors are running sponsored ads for at all. In that case, find the filter that says sponsored rank count. And just as an example, I'm going to put a maximum of two. That is me asking the tool to show me the keywords where a maximum of only two of my competitors are even running sponsored ads. What you might discover is a lot of times, a crazy number of keywords are going to show up here, like even in the thousands. So in a situation like this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put another filter, which is the competitor rank average, all right? I'm going to put a minimum competitor rank average of one and a maximum of 50, basically conveying that these aren't just randomly sponsored ads that they're running. These are the ones where there's specifically ranking for organically around page one or two. And then when I apply that filter, now that number is going to be a whole lot less of these keywords. And here we've got 56 keywords, guys. For instance, Gothic bookcases probably is fairly relevant, right? I can see there is nobody running sponsored ads for it. Seriously, zero competitors, which is a highly relevant keyword. Here's another one. Coffin bookshelf, where only one competitor is showing up in sponsored ads for this keyword. Gothic cabinet, nobody's running sponsored ads. This is a fantastic way for you to see which keywords your competitors are not even focusing on. The other situation to do with this is instead of the number of competitors, you might want to look at sponsored rank average. And maybe you want to see where their average is at least 30, indicating that a lot of competitors are not even on the first few pages of sponsored ads. And if I go ahead and apply filters on that with nothing for sponsored rank count, well, that narrows it down to nine filtered keywords. Check this out. Here's one keyword right here, coffin decor. There are a couple of competitors showing up in sponsored ads. And this is a keyword that a lot of people are on page one for. But look at this. The main competitors are 33 and 69 as far as sponsored ads. That means that like page three and page six probably in sponsored ads. Meaning if I come in, I could potentially be the only person. If I bid high, I would be the only person on page one for this keyword in the sponsored ads. So this is yet another Great way to find valuable information that can save you money in advertising and help you focus on certain keywords where you're not going to have much competition at all. On the flip side, maybe you're just curious, hey, where are my main competitors advertising for? Where are they concentrating their top of search spend? So you can go and do the opposite. You can say, hey, show me, you know, put in the filter here, show me where their sponsored rank average, regardless of the competitor rank average, where it's between one and 20, meaning that on average, they're going to be on page one. And that is going to show you where most of your competitors are concentrating their spend. So a lot of different ways that you can filter through this information, but it's really important that you do just that so you can really dial in on your PPC game.